If you're using the Light Shark for a permanent installation, then you'll definitely want to know about and know how to use the Executors page. The Executors page is here at the top, and it's the fourth option, and it gives you an 8x6 grid, actually two 8x6 grids, where you can place your various cues as buttons. There are a few common ways to set these up, and I want to go over them within this video and also show you how to lock out access to the programming for permanent installations. This can be great if you're programming a restaurant or a church or any type of environment where you're going to hand control of this page to folks who you don't want programming. Uh, whether that be yourself, your client, whomever, it's a great way to be able to lock out control. Maybe the bartender or uh, the pastors or somebody who's, who's not um, a tech person, maybe operating things, you want to give them just that page you can do that. First things first, let's go ahead and talk about the layout of the executors page. To do this, I'm just going to pop this into edit mode quick and put some cues here into my executor page. We'll do something more meaningful in just a minute, but I want to show you a quick example as to how these work. One more. With the executors page, in its default setting, you have left to right, which can operate independently. In the vertical realm, the queues will override each other. Now, this can be good for one particular type of setup. For example, so maybe in this first row of six, you have for yourself uh, looks for the lights behind the bar, right? So maybe this is, uh, we'll press set, we'll press the queue. Maybe this is bar lights red, and then we hold. That's another way to do the set, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. We, we'd have multiple colors going down this line. Then in our second row, we might have something like um, stage lights. So stage lights red, stage lights blue. And then maybe in a third row, just as an example, we could go ahead and copy a few more buttons and of course you can go all the way down the row with this and then we might have uh, the general house lighting so house lighting full maybe we call that cleanup and then house lighting dinner maybe we record a blank queue here we would actually put something on it of course house lighting show and of course house lighting out for when you leave for the night so as you can see it, it's very flexible to be able to give multiple different options of rows that you can switch between knowing that you can have cues on top of each other in this vertical row and have the ability that knowing that they're going to override each other every time. It doesn't matter if each queue contains the same fixtures. Some could have some different fixtures. Uh, the queues are going to override and release each other as you go between them. Okay. Now, timing for these queues will be in their queue list window. So you'll find them here, select them in the queue list window, and then you can change the crossfade to whatever you may need. Now, there is another mode of the executors page that will really help you when it comes to permanent installations, and that is the exclusive mode. So as we noted here, each row behaves independently and gives you the ability to select um, only one out of every row, but you can have many rows active. What if you just want out of this entire grid, only one of these buttons to be able to be active at a time? This is a very common setup where maybe you have a restaurant, a church, or any other type of venue where you just want to create complete looks of lighting and place them on buttons. So you might have different themes. You know, maybe this is a blue-violet theme first. And then maybe you've got a button that uh, is stage with blue sky. Obviously, this what you program would depend on what kind of venue this is and what your needs are for that venue. 
And then you went and you had all sorts of different uh, buttons that overall just control the entire look of the stage and maybe the venue. Okay. We would then go into our settings. So up here in the left corner to the three dot menu and then the settings button. And the executor mode has two options. There's normal and exclusive. Normal, of course, is the default. Exclusive allows us to only use one executor at a time ignoring the row setup and allowing you to click on any button and it's going to override the previous button no matter where that button comes from. For a lot of simpler installations, this is exactly what you want to do. Now, once you've got your button set up the way that you would like, you can go ahead and go to the menu here and lock your executors page. So putting it full screen is one way to be able to put people on this page, uh, but the other is to go in here and actually lock the executor's window. Okay, so we can turn on that lock. We can enter an unlock password. Uh, write this down, please, because if you don't have it, you will have to reset the console in order to get it. Uh, backing up your file is also very important. In order to relock the executor's window, all you have to do is hit refresh, let the page reload, and you're locked again. Of course, if you want to permanently unlock it, you'll head back into the settings, turn off that lock and you're good to go. I hope you've enjoyed this video and it helps you to make the most out of your next installation with the Lightshark. Shark.